Hello YouTube, want to do a quick update on my aquarium. Um, if you've been following along, I had a Picasso trigger fish, a clown trigger fish, a dog face puffer, and two clown fish in here. I'm not sure what happened, um, and I'm still bummed about it. Um, I racked my brain trying to figure it out and never could. Uh, the last video I posted, I noted that the clown trigger had been acting strange, which he was. He was hiding constantly, and uh, I don't know what happened. There was never any signs of disease in the tank, um, but the, the clown was just acting odd. And then one day, this was probably about, I'm going to say a month, maybe six weeks ago, the Picasso trigger fish, I noticed one night, he was acting a little strange. Turned the aquarium lights off, went to bed, and the next morning I came down, turned them on, and I saw everybody swimming around except the Picasso trigger fish. Wasn't sure what had happened, and I sadly found him behind uh, one of my rocks, he had died overnight, and really sad about it. He was my favorite fish. Um, I'm still, like I said, this is a month, six weeks later, whatever, still bummed out about that. About a week later, the clown trigger fish died, and he had been acting strange, and I thought he had gotten to where he was acting normal, um, but then he just died. I don't know if there was a disease in the tank. If it was, it only affected the triggers. The puffer fish, which I consider more, slightly more delicate, uh, certainly more delicate than a trigger fish, completely unaffected. Um, the clown fish, completely unaffected. Not surprising because clown fish are just incredibly hardy. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I, well, so what I did, I changed some water. Um, I treated with copper just in case there was an infection. Um, I'd actually had treated with copper before they, uh, any issues just in case. Um, so I treated with copper and the dog face puffer was fine. The clown fish were absolutely fine. So about two weeks ago, I decided I'm going to get a little couple, two, um, damselfish to see if they're doing okay and damselfish have a reputation um but i got uh, you know the, t the blue ones here the uh was a little yellow tail and the i don't know what the yellow belly whatever they're called two of the more moderate or peaceful damselfish and i've had damselfish in the past uh with you know fish i've never had any issues i think that people have issues with them as with with uh, more of your, I don't know, delicate stuff. Uh, when you're putting them in with puffers and triggers and whatever, I don't think you're going to have issues. I never have. So I added those. I added a little bit of pop of color. And then I also added, as you can see swimming around, a lunar wrasse and a niger trigger. You can kind of see him there. He blends in with the background. There goes the Ras. There's the Niger. I got a nice deal on these guys. Um, I got them with some birthday money. My birthday is coming up. I've owned a Lunar Ras in the past, so it's uh, not a new fish for me. They're just really cool, really colorful. The guy at the aquarium store told me that he had originally sold this to somebody with a reef tank. I told the guy, you don't want to put this in a reef tank. It's going to eat your, you know, your corals. It's going to eat your snails. It's going to eat your hermit crabs, whatever. And the guy said, nah, it'll be fine. So the guy bought the lunar wrasse, um, took it home, put it in his tank, and it went ahead and started munching on his expensive uh, corals and invertebrates. So he took it back to the shop. And it had just been there. Um, I'd been in the shop a couple times looking at both these fish 
And uh, today I said, uh, would you cut me a deal on him? He said, I just want to get rid of this lunar rats. I just had it. Uh, it was a return. Uh, I, I'll you'll give you a good deal on it. So he gave me a good deal on it. Um, it's kind of a throw together deal. And uh, so I got a Niger trigger and a lunar rats, a 90 gallon aquarium. And again, I don't know what happened with those two trigger fish. I had them, what, nine months or so? No issues. And then that clown just started acting odd. And I think that whatever happened began with the clown somehow. Um, and I don't know if it goes back to how they were collected, if they had some kind of arsenic or some kind of poison that finally had caught up with them. Um, but it was just a really sad event. Um it was my second time having a clown trigger and my second time having a Picasso trigger. I haven't been very successful with clown trigger fish, so I don't think I'm going to uh, do one of those again. Uh, Picasso trigger, I would love to get another one. And um, I've actually been looking around. I can't find them anywhere uh, around where I live. But I'm going to keep looking around because they are my favorite fish. I had one years ago. Um, he was a cool fish. They're absolutely my favorite uh fish they're just so interesting and that one the only reason i got i got it when i was or got rid of it i got it when i was 16 and about two and a half years later um i went to college so i shut down my then saltwater aquarium which houses the picasso so i want to get another picasso um and this is a 90 gallon tank so you're seeing i'm pretty much close to or maybe even at the stocking limits my family and i were actually getting ready to move and when we move we are going to have a finished basement which as a tropical fish hobbyist has been my dream uh for the bulk of my adult life because i can get any size tank i want finally and not have to worry about damaging floors or you know a floor collapsing in a total nightmare incident. Um, so I am looking at what will probably be me, probably be my last tank upgrade of my life. And I would like to get something 210 gallons, which uh, there's a shop that has those frequently around here, 210, maybe upwards to 300 to high end, maybe 360. Um, so 210 to 360, probably 210, but um, I could comfortably house these fish, get a Picasso trigger, and uh, maybe one or two other fish. But this is pretty much it for me, and uh, I'll continue to do these videos. Um, and again, I'm really, really upset um, still that those the clown and the Picasso trigger died. If anybody has any information about what could cause two trigger fish like that pretty hardy fish just to die um, and the other tank inhabitants to not be affected at all uh, especially a dog face puffer like i said which in my mind is a more delicate uh, fish than a trigger fish um I and mean, he's doing great and never had any issues so again if you have any thoughts let me know the only thing i can possibly think of is it went back to how they were collected and there was some arsenic or some kind of poison used that finally caught up with them. That is the only thing that I can think of. Um, but again, I was just devastated to, when they died. Just really sad. Uh, it's amazing how attached to fish you can get. But uh, I view these as my pets. You know, some people you see on YouTube, they're... Um, I want to say almost trying to be shock. They're just trying to shock you with their their fish acquisitions and their tanks and the way they shoot their videos. And I'm not that type of person. These are pets. Um, you know, yeah, they live in water, but they're every bit of a pet to me as much as a a dog. I don't know how many cats have got dogs, but as much as like a dog would be. So um, I do the best I can to take care of them and. Um, Anyway, I hope to keep making videos 
there was a little lag here. And the reason for the lag was I was just so upset about the the two triggers that died. So hopefully I'll try to get back to making these uh, once a month. Um, and again, I'm really excited. We're going to be moving in about a month. And um, uh, a few months after that, I'd really like to get a big tank upgrade. Um, you know, something where these guys can all really grow into it as they get older. Um, the trigger, or I, the trigger probably will get a little over a foot at full grown, supposedly. Lunar Rass, maybe 10 inches. Uh, Dog Face Puffer, I think they get about 12 inches. Uh, the other guys in here stay, stay small. And then if I add another Picasso, uh, like I said, a 210 to a 300 gallon aquarium, 360 would be a perfect size tank, even on the low end, uh, for those guys uh, to just grow into. And again, it might be, I don't know if I'm going to do the uh, a clown trigger again. I might throw the towel in on those guys. Um, but uh, so that's my video, and we will proceed from here. So cheers. I hope it's going well for everybody.